so once again we are going to do a very awesome lead code problem this one is a reconstruct itinerary we can see that this one is a lead code hard problem also constructing an uh, itinerary is actually a very popular real life use case that we see in like uh, aviation industry all the time so this is an important problem let's pay our utmost attention now we are given a list of airline tickets where any particular position uh, we are given like a tuple value inside at the array that defines that where what is the departure and arrival for locations based on that particular unit now we need to reconstruct the itinerary in and in like a particular order and return that reconstructed itinerary now let's see that what are the constraints around reconstructing the itinerary number one thing is all the tickets belong to a man who departs from JFK which means JFK is the starting position for our entire itinerary then uh, next thing is that if there are multiple valid itineraries that we are able to construct then we should return the itinerary that has the smallest lexicographical order so what does lexical uh, lexicographical or lexical order means it means that uh, we need to sort them in like a to z manner basically uh, which means uh, if we let's say if we have two tickets first one is from jfk to lga and second one is another ticket from jfk to lgb then we must return lga first before returning lgb because remember that we are sorting lexicographically so this one has character a and this one has character b so a comes before b which means this has a smaller lexical order so we need to uh, put this in priority now we are also told that we may assume that all the tickets are valid and we must use all the ticket once and only once so let's try to understand this problem uh, and try to see that what could be the potential solutions number one thing is this is the type of input we are given now we can see that there are a bunch of different tickets we are given in this case we are given a ticket that uh, is from Munich to London Heathrow we are given a ticket from JFK to Munich then San Francisco to San Jose and London Heathrow to San Francisco so these are the five tickets we are currently given I have just plotted all the five airports I over here and now let's see that what is the solutions we can make so let let's just take a simple approach and uh, let me just keep on marking all of these nodes uh, or like all the flight connections so we know that we have a connection between Munich and London Heathrow so let me mark this one and then we have a connection from JFK to Munich so let me also mark this one then we have a San Francisco to San Jose so marking this one and then we have London Heathrow to San Francisco so let's mark this one so this is a valid order we can see that every single ticket we currently have that are four tickets we have we used all of these four tickets over here after using all of these four tickets we need to reconstruct itinerary starting from JFK so we can see that if we start our journey from JFK the direction is going to be JFK to Munich then Munich to London Heathrow Heathrow to San Francisco and San Francisco to San Jose this is the reconstructed itinerary that we need to return in this order let's take one more slightly complicated scenario so we have a uh, like bunch of different tickets in this case and we only have three airports to deal with so first ticket is JFK to San Francisco so let's just mark this one so JFK to San Francisco this is one option second option is JFK to Atlanta so let's mark this one then San Francisco to Atlanta okay then Atlanta to JFK okay and then Atlanta to San Francisco okay so currently these are all the different options we have now let's see that what is the optimal option we need to choose we need we know that we need to start our journey from JFK now notice at JFK we have two different tickets going outwards first ticket is going to the San Francisco and second ticket is going to the Atlanta so question is which ticket should we choose now here comes the lexicographical ordering that we need to pick from and we can see that a Atlanta is lexicographically smaller than San Francisco so we are going to pick ATL first so in our path this is going to be the first path we are going to take all the markings that I'm marking with red is like the correct marking okay so we took care of one ticket then from Atlanta once again we have two options we can either go to JFK or we can either go to San Francisco so once again it makes sense to pick the smaller amount 
and that is once again going back to JFK. So let me let us go back to the JFK. Now at JFK we only have one option that is go to San Francisco. So we go to San Francisco and then from San Francisco now we only have one option that is to go to Atlanta. So we go to Atlanta and now from Atlanta we still have one more edge that is remaining and that is to go back to the San Francisco. So we will once again go back to the San Francisco. So this is the sequence we are going to follow where first we are going to go from JFK to Atlanta then this is the second this is the third this is the fourth and this is the fifth flight we are going to take so this is what we need to return now i know understanding this question took way longer than expected but don't worry the solution is not that complicated so let's just try to understand a simple logical scenario just for this particular input that we are given what is the one thing that we did to solve this problem well, it is quite obvious what we did to solve this problem. We first of all mark that from every single airport, what are all the different possibilities we can take. And then we started iterating over the, our journey from JFK. On top of it, not only marking the all the different possible journeys, we also mark that what uh, under what order should we start picking uh, or, and start moving in, in any particular direction. So what I'm suggesting in this case is that we are only given the tickets. We are only given these values from any particular two nodes. What I'm suggesting is that we actually treat this as a graph problem and which is pretty obvious. Why are we treating it as a graph problem through this one? We are going to be marking every single airports we currently have as the nodes and all the tickets that we currently have as the edges. Okay. We already got our nodes and edges. On top of it, what we need to do is we need to iterate over the given graph. Now iteration of the graph is quite simple. We know that we have two methods. We have a breadth first search method and we have depth first search method. Now in this case, going in one particular direction makes more sense because notice that over here we are going in like a depth first search fashion. Even in this example, we saw that we were doing bunch of different back and forth in order to complete all of our transaction and that was also being done in depth first search fashion. So in this case, we are also going to be using DFS to iterate over all the nodes. Next thing is we need a starting pointer to iterate over. We already have a starting pointer and that is starting from the JFK. So we know that we first of all need to treat it as a graph. We will need to do a DFS. We will need to start iterating over from JFK. Next thing is when we are constructing a graph, we will have to set up ordering in which sequence are we going to go to any particular airport. And for that, we will have to follow the lexicographical ordering. So for that, what I'm suggesting is that we actually use an adjacency list kind of a scenario where we store the adjacency list uh, for our graph uh, or, and we do it in lexicographical ordering. So what I'm suggesting is that we initialize a hash map as part of the hash map, we need two items key and value as part of the key. We mark the nodes or the airport as part of its values. We mark that from that airport, how many different tickets that we can traverse over. So or how many different uh, airports or destinations we have. Okay. Uh, th then once we have these two values, then we need to populate these arrays. So let's start populating this value uh, for this given input. Okay. So currently let's go one by one in these uh, throughout all of these tickets. So first one is we are starting from JFK. So one node is JFK. Okay. Now from the JFK, we need to have a ticket. Uh, the destination is San Francisco. So let me mark this as SF. Then we have one more ticket from JFK and the destination is Atlanta. Now we know that JFK is already present. The thing is we are trying to insert Atlanta over here. So one logical thing is that rather than just doing anything, let me just create a link list over here where I'm storing Atlanta as well that from JFK, I have one more ticket that goes to Atlanta. Okay. Same way uh, we have a San Francisco and the destination is Atlanta. So let me also do that. And we have Atlanta and JFK. So Atlanta and JFK. Okay. And last one is Atlanta to San Francisco. So we are going to have one more destination, San Francisco from Atlanta. Now we have our uh, key or our graph uh, like uh, our adjacency list being created. Okay. Inside our hash map. But the thing is we need to sort this in lexicographical manner. So what are we, we are going to do an intermediate step 
where we are simply going to update this given uh, graph that we have created so far and for this one we are simply going to sort all the values or all the inputs we have in the destination in lexicographical manner we know that this can be done in n log n time so we are going to spend that extra time in order to complete that so let me just start marking this one so first entry is jfk okay for jfk we currently have two values first one is san francisco and second one is atlanta but this is not sorted correctly so we are going to sort it first one is going to be atlanta and second one is going to be san francisco as this is going to be the sequence of linked list for san francisco we only have atlanta so let some let's just mark this one and the last one even for the atlanta we have jfk and san francisco that is already sorted in correct order so let's just mark this one uh, so jfk and we have uh atlanta okay uh sorry uh san francisco okay so let's just mark this one as well and now we have everything we are looking for now all we need to do is just do the dfs operation from our uh adjacency list on the graph and every time we update we iterate over one destination we are going to remove that from the list so next time when we are at the same airport we simply pick the next uh uh, next lexicographical entry in sequence so let's try to run the solution so we start our uh, journey from jfk so we are initially at this jfk location we saw that the first ticket we need to find or first flight is atlanta so let, let's just traverse to atlanta marked as a now we need to do the we need to go to the atlanta because we are currently presented in atlanta also at the same time we are going to remove atlanta from here and we need we are going to go to the atlanta now atlanta the very first flight is jfk so once again we are going to come back to jfk so after coming back we are going to remove jfk from here so now at the jfk the next flight in sequence is san francisco so let's just make one another journey to san francisco and uh, now uh, we are going to remove san francisco from here now at san francisco next flight is atlanta so let's just uh, mark a journey to atlanta and we are going to remove atlanta from here and now from the atlanta let's just mark one journey to the san francisco so we are going to mark a journey to the san francisco and we are going to remove san francisco over here now the moment we uh, come to any particular position let's say we came to san francisco now there are no more entries or no more destinations for us to visit which means we can conclude that we have iterated over every single possible tickets that we currently have present and we can simply say that we iterated over all the entries and this is the path that we created we can just keep track of the path in like a backtracking function uh, and because we are making recursive calls to use the dfs and solve this problem quite easily quite beautifully quite simply and this is an awesome lead code problem if we understand the time complexity in this case that that, that is going to be big o of vertices multiplied by edges plus big o of n log n in order to do the sorting but this is already greater than uh, n log n so we don't need to factor that in and if we talk about the space complex um, complexity it is going to be big o of uh, once again ver uh, vertices uh, multiplied by edges because we are creating a new hash map uh, that is going to be of length uh, v so actually this is only going to be big o of size v but in the value section we are going to have all the uh, all the edges that we currently have so it's going to be v plus e okay so this is a still a good time and space complexity now quickly see let's quickly see the coding solution for this one okay so the very first thing we are going to do is to create a map to store the list of destination for every single departure airport so we are going to create a new hash map where as a key we are going to store the string that is going to store the name of the airport and as part of its value we are going to store be storing a linked list or list of strings now we are going to iterate over every single tickets that we currently have and keep on marking all the values uh, inside our graph hash map that we have just created after having a representation now we are going to be sorting all the values that we have in the destination of the graph so we are going to do run a for loop and just do a sort operation after sorting it out we simply need to start our journey from the jfk terminal so we are going to have a linked list that is going to be creating an itinerary that we need to return as part of the answer and we are going to have a dfs operation that is going to start from the jfk airport where we are going to pass in the graph that we have just created that contains all the sorted destinations and the itinerary linked list where we are going to be storing all the values in sequence now let's see our dfs method so first thing we are doing is that we are adding the current airport we are at 
at the uh, destination after that we are checking that while the given destination is not null and the list of destination is not empty then we are going to remove that destination to avoid revisiting the same path so we are, so we are simply going to removing that inside our uh, array and we are also going to be calling the next value that we need to iterate over and calling our dfs function once again so that's it this is the whole solution where instead of passing in jfk we are passing in the next uh, airport that we have to iterate over and we are also adding the airport to our itinerary as well just so that we can we know that what airport we are beginning at and we are generating the itinerary in the reverse order so now let's try to run this code seems like our solution is working as expected let's submit this code and our code runs beautifully compared to like almost 75 percent of all the other solutions like 71 percent it can still be improved in terms of space complexity uh, so let me know in the comments if you want to see that but anyways you can still see or find the solution on our github repository so feel free to check it out from there thank you